Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Feel the reminder, this is Gabe al-Rumani. Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a story in the Qur'an, a story that is meant to remain as a lesson for mankind till the day of judgment. To the point that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through His Prophet Lut alayhi salam, is asking the people, do you do something that no one before has ever done? That was unprecedented. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Brother and sister, these are the people of Sodom. These are the people of Lut and their sin and what they are doing. At the time of Lut, his people, the people that he was sent to, these were people who were morally corrupt. Their sins, they would sin in public. There was sexual immorality and they were robbing people. So there, it was like a compound crime. They're sexually immoral. They're not approaching the right way. They're not going to their women. And at the same time, they were robbing people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us Surah Naml in verse 54 is by the tongue again of, of his prophet he's saying do you commit immorality while you see while you do it in public the problem with these people is that they're not even ashamed of their sins their sexual immorality was public Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions the word nadi club they're in their clubs just like today just like today subhanallah no haya people don't care they just do it wherever it is doesn't matter they just do it Haya, brothers and sisters, is a concept that is disappearing. It's on its way to extinction. From men and women, we find men and women loud, screaming, laughing. They have no composure when it comes. The ihtiram, the, the, the respect for each other and for themselves is slowly, slowly disappearing. Women in hijab, in niqab, screaming, being loud, making noises, chasing this, that, at concerts and so on. SubhanAllah, where is the haya? Where is that bashfulness? that shyness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered for us. Brothers and sisters, let's take heed from this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al-A'raf that when Lut alayhi salam chastised them, told them that you were wrong, what was their answer? SubhanAllah, pay attention. Their answer was none other than that. They should be expelled because there are people who like or who want to purify themselves. These are people who want to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at our status today. If anyone, if anyone wants to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if anyone wants to do something for Islam, they will be considered as the strangers. And as the Prophet said, Badal Islam gharib wa Sa'udu gharib fatuba al-Rabah. That Islam started something strange and it will come back as something strange. So give glad tidings to the strangers. As the Prophet told us in the hadith, that the Sadiq will be Kadib and the Kadib will be Sadiq towards the Day of Judgment. Evil is considered good today. If you're not in line with evil, get out, get lost. These are people, what do they say? Who like to purify themselves. Brothers and sisters, don't we live in today's society like that? Isn't the system not, that doesn't protect people who want to be pure, but the system protects evil and protects, you know, promiscuity, music, dancing, women and men, mixing, gambling, things like that, subhanAllah. What's wrong with us? Why can we take heed from the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The problem is that when this happens, as in the story of Lut alayhi salam, the people should wait for destruction to come. Why don't we understand? Why do we corrupt our marriages? Why do we corrupt the institution of the family? Why do we corrupt a man for a woman, a woman for a man? Things are flipped upside down. Why do we do that? When this happens, when people do not purify themselves, wait for destruction to come. We don't learn. We say it's mother nature. These earthquakes, the wars and so on. We just blame, well, it's just, you know, we start blaming mother nature, this and that, so on and so forth. We don't understand. This is just a taste of what is to come, brothers, sisters, if we do not learn the lesson. Why do you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the stories in the Quran? What happened to the people of Lut, brothers and sisters? We need to take a lesson. Angel Jibreel picked them up, picked them up, the whole city, flipped it upside down and let it fall down. And then from the sky, fell rocks, each rock, had a name on it and each person in that town, including the wife Alut, who was compliant to this sin, they, were, they perished, they were destroyed. Brothers and sisters, we need to, we need to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us on the fitrah and we cannot deviate from the fitrah, we cannot corrupt this fitrah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and to keep us on the sirat al-mustaqim. This is Gabe al-Rumani for the daily reminder. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.